Hi, I'm Olivia, and today's happy now it comes from Bruce Willis, the American actor, producer, and musician, most famous for his iconic role as a no-nonsense cop John McClane in the hit action movie Die Hard and its various sequels. Bruce Willis has appeared in over 60 films and is one of the highest grossing actors of all time. But before he was a film star, Bruce Willis was a television star, winning an Emmy and a Golden Globe in the role that launched his career. Fast-talking, wisecracking Detective David Addison in the hit series Moonlighting, co-starring Sybil Shepherd. Willis won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Performer in a New Television Series. From his suave, charismatic, and hard-headed characters to his more nuanced and dramatic performances, audiences love Bruce Willis. They always have. In a 2002 interview, speaking about getting cast in Moonlighting, Bruce Willis said, They had seen like 3,000 guys. I had just gotten an agent. I think Moonlighting was the third thing they sent me to. I had a bad attitude. I just cut off all my hair with scissors. I had three earrings in and went in wearing fatigues. Did the audition, read the script, and I had that New York actor snotty attitude about TV. But Glenn Karen's writing really turned me around. It was great writing. And I said, I know this character. I know this guy. And it took me about five episodes of that show to really learn how to act in front of a camera, which I had never done. And that was all Glenn Karen. He got me the job. ABC did not want me. I had to go back seven times. They cleaned me up, let my hair grow out, and put me in a suit and tie. And I finally screen tested with Sybil Shepherd. And there was about a two week period where they said, okay, we're not gonna hire Bruce and we're not gonna do the show. Glenn had me come back to LA and do one more screen test with Sybil. And after that, ABC said, okay. Bruce Willis was born in 1955 in West Germany where his father was stationed with the U.S. military. A few years later, his family moved to New Jersey, where his father worked blue-collar jobs, like welding and working in a factory to support his family. From a very early age, Bruce Willis suffered from a horrible stutter. But rather than retreating, he tried to overcome this difficulty with humor and dignity, attempting to make his classmates laugh, striving to speak in public, in spite of how difficult it was for him to even complete a sentence. Eventually he realized that memorizing words and performing on stage in front of an audience was helping him to overcome his stutter. He acted in school plays and was elected president of the student council. But when Bruce Willis left high school he didn't have enough money to go to college right away. He worked in a chemical factory and as a security guard and saved money. A few years later he enrolled in the drama program at Montclair State College in New Jersey. Encouraged by a professor who believed in his talent, Bruce Willis worked with a speech therapist. Eager to pursue a career in acting, he dropped out of college after his sophomore year and went to New York City to try to make it as an actor. Bruce Willis waited tables and bartended while auditioning for roles. He debuted in an off-Broadway play, but it wasn't until he auditioned for Moonlighting in 1986, beating over 3,000 guys in his early 30s, that things started to roll. As an actor, Bruce Willis has a wonderful versatility where he can be just as captivating, rattling, witty remarks at a thousand miles an hour as when his characters are mostly quiet and contemplative. Many of his roles have a tough guy sensitivity that is both classic and modern, elegant and hip, uncouth, and gentlemanly. His performances reel us in. From cult classics like The Fifth Element to blockbusters like Armageddon to supernatural horrors like The Sixth Sense or neo-noir crime films like Sin City and one of my favorite romantic comedies Look Who's Talking where he plays the voice of baby Mikey. Bruce Willis is an actor who loves to entertain, to make movies where people can get out of their lives for a couple of hours and have a good time. We never get tired of watching Bruce Willis movies because we never get tired of watching him. Being honored by the American Institute for Stuttering in 2016, Bruce Willis said, the hardest thing I remember was being a kid stuttering. Never let anyone make you feel like an outcast 
because you will never be an outcast. In 2002, speaking about bullying, he said, I didn't tolerate it when I was in school. I stood up for myself. I stood up for my friends. Friendship even then was important to me and is really important to me now. Not just friendship, but the cultivation of friendship to keep friendships alive. Little kids aren't born hating to say that person's different or that person's brown or black or Asian or whatever. Kids aren't born to hate. The hatred is taught. Sometimes adults and children can be needlessly cruel. When someone bullies you, it's not a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of who they are. Don't let other people's weaknesses define who you are. Focus on what you want to achieve and forge ahead. We only have one life to live. There's no time to waste on mean people. Be yourself and be great. And that's today's Happy Nugget. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. As always, I link below the video anything I recommend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.